What is up, guys? It is Warrior, and I'm back! It has been quite a while since I've last uploaded. I think it's been a couple months, or maybe even almost a year. I don't even remember. But, to put things short, I graduated high school and I've been busy with college and work, and so I haven't had any time to make YouTube videos. Um, but as you can see, here's the mouse. I got a PC, and so, I don't know, I've kind of just been wanting to get back in YouTube for a while. Um, I kind of want a fresh start, so what a lot of people do is they probably delete all their old videos and all that stuff. I'm going to leave all my old videos up, so that's all still going to be there, but I kind of want to go a different direction. Anyway, I know we had a Hollow Knight series going on before, but now that I'm on my PC, I kind of want to restart. I love this game, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and so I want to just fully experience it on the PC. So, I'm going to leave my old videos, but we never finished, and we're going to finish now on here. Uh, we're not going to go for 112%, but we're going to beat the game and get as much stuff done as we can. But anyway, yeah, quick direction for my channel, because I'm not going to make a crazy video or anything. But um, we're going to be playing Hollow Knight. When Madden 21 comes out, we'll be playing that on the channel for sure. And then we might be playing some other games like Rocket League, I think might be a big game for the channel. But anyways, with all that put aside, let's start a new game of Hollow Knight, and I'll let you guys enjoy the cinematics, and then we'll begin talking again once we get into the game. So anyway, let's get into it. Oh, I gotta scale the edges. Never mind. One second. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh my gosh. How's the brightness? How do we want it? Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Here we go. Alright, and here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Beautiful art style, beautiful cutscenes. Already the music's great. Oh, the game just feels good. Alright, let's get into it. If you guys do not know, I have played this game before. I actually beat it before I played it on the channel, and then last time I played it on the channel, I did get pretty far in, but never ended up finishing it because of, obviously, the stuff that I talked about. But, um, I love this game. I love the art style, I love the music, I love the gameplay, I love the difficulty. It's the perfect difficulty, just everything about this game is great. So I'm super excited to get into it, and right away, we can see it's a nice, dark art style. You know, this game has colors, and it's beautiful, but Team Cherry really liked their darks and their grays in this game. Anyway, let's get our first little bit of text speech. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. So, if you guys have played this game before, you know that one of the biggest mechanics in the game is the ability to collect soul. It's in the top left. You see that little meter there. And when you defeat enemies, or when you strike enemies, you collect soul. You can get up to nine uh, ticks of soul and it takes three ticks to uh, use spells or to heal. So, yeah, that's the main, like, mechanic in this game that's unique about it. And then, obviously, we can use it to heal, and there's other spells we'll get later that we can use it for. We'll get to that later. 
And now let's just keep going forward. And also, all these little coins are picking up at the Geo. It's the currency in this game. So spin. Now this is lifeblood right here. Whenever you find those, you get extra health. Um, anyway, yeah. We're about to head into the first area of the game here in just a second. This is just the start area, obviously. And right there, that floor breaks. It's actually unavoidable. I've tried before to see if it's physically possible to uh, get past that and just jump over it, but it is not possible. You have to fall down, so just for your guys' information if you're curious. And then we made it through just fine. So let's read some more text real quick. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the Eternal Kingdom, Hollow Nest. So, yeah, basically, the land we're about to enter into is called Hollow Nest. It is the world that we will be exploring in this game. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spoil too much because I think that you guys will enjoy to follow the story along as we go. But basically, we're just going to a kingdom that's fallen ruin to something. Something happened, so. Anyway, let's keep going here. Entering the first area of the game. Dirt Mouth and Fading Town. Huh? Alright. Let's see, this guy wants to talk. Whoa. Oh, there, Continue. traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well one by one into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell the ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills that place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. That's pretty deep from Elderbug. And then we got our first bench here. We will see these throughout the game. Basically, we rest on them. Later when we get our map, it allows us to update our map. And a couple other things, so we'll get into that when that happens. But for now, let's head straight on down where he told us not to, down the well, because there's literally nothing else we can do right now. This is the first main area of the game. I know we were just in Dirt Mouth, but this is the first, like, big explorable area. It's called the Forgotten Crossroads. And yeah, we're going to be exploring this area before heading too deep into the game. we got to unlock a couple abilities, get maps, and all kinds of stuff like that. So let's head over here. We're going to meet a bunch of new enemies too. These are the Gruzzes, these flying ones. And then down on the... I forget what these are called, these ones that crawl. But the white ones obviously can crawl around the platform. And those black ones walk away from the right. And then in this room we can see a very sad worm with a bunch of empty nests. So that's going to do something later. But for now this is just a worthless room. But we'll come back here later. And then as we keep heading down... Oops, took a hit. So now I'll show you how you heal. You just hold B. Or I'm on Xbox, so I mean, depending on your platform, you'll hold different buttons. And then, oh, I missed it. That's how you heal. Uh, we are supposed to go all the way down, but for now, I want to... I forget what's in this room over here, if I can just... Oh my gosh, I'm so rusty, dude. This is embarrassing. I don't know if I can make it all the way, but ah, I'll try. I want to check out what's in there real quick and forget... That's what I love about this game, though, is that you can play it ten times, and obviously, it's the same base game. But, as you keep replaying it and exploring, you know, there's different paths to take and everything. So, let's continue on. By the way, guys, sorry if there's some background sound effects. Uh, I have a large family, and uh, they come and go as they please, and so obviously I can't have them all be kept quiet the whole time. So if you hear anything, that's why. Anyway, let's keep going. Head on down. Alright. And as we head down here, you hear the humming, you know exactly who it is. It is Corner for the map maker. Hmm, ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, even I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area. Would you like to buy a copy of my work? Yes, I would. Now, this is Corner for the Map Maker, and we'll be seeing him a lot. We'll always buy our maps from him. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife at Zelda. 
She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping area. She's always excited to see me. So yeah, he's making maps around, and so... I know we just got down here, but I do want to go buy a couple things from the map shop they talked about. But first, we gotta get some Geo real quick. So let's kill some of these bugs. Get some Geo, and then we can head back up to Dirtmouth. And get some... Mapping supplies. Right, yeah, one thing about this game that you guys will notice is that sometimes you have to kind of grind for money, which isn't the greatest, but I mean, it's part of the experience. Oop, don't fall down. I think we need about for the compass. I also want the quill too. A um, hundred something. Eh, what a way. Who am I kidding? Why don't we just explore and see what we can find. But for now, this is the map. I forget what's to the left over here. I don't think this is where we're supposed to go, but might as well check it out. Some geo up there if we can get that. I know how to get that, actually. There we go. Puzzle off. See, look at that. Already making some gains. Man, it feels so weird because there's a bunch of different abilities you get in this game and I'm used to having all them. So playing without them is like playing without an arm. It's weird. I'm used to dashing and stuff. Alright, what do we got here? Sweet. Let's keep checking it out. Okay, there's just a worm over here. Perfect. Alright. Well, I guess I'll show you guys what the worms do now because I know earlier I showed you that worm daddy looking dude. Well, now there's going to be those worms all across the map, and if we do go and save them, they actually give us some rewards. The worm daddy gives us some rewards. And at the end, when we save them all, it's actually a pretty hefty reward, and so why don't we just go check that out real quick before we finish exploring the rest of this area, or as much as we can in the allotted time anyway. I'm going to try to keep these videos kind of mid-range length. Um, I don't want them to be too long, but I want them to be decent length. I'm probably looking at about 30 minute videos. So, let me know how you guys feel about that. If it should be longer or shorter, or what you guys think. If it's good. Then let's just make our way up real quick. It's starting to come back to me to feel the game. I like it. Alright. Alright. What's there? Let's just head in here and see what reward he'll give us for saving Ooh. a worm. If, I don't know if he gives us for saving one, but Ooh. we'll take a look. <laughs> yep, he gives us some Geo. Just ten. Nothing crazy. But it's alright. Alright, let's head to the right real quick, because I think there's some quick Geo over there. And then after that, we'll head up to Dirtmouth. Visit the map-making shop and see what gear we can get to help us out. Head over this way. I already got that. Let's just step over here. Kill some more enemies. Oop. Took a hit. Clumsy me. Alright. Head this way. Oh yeah, we're about to find one of the most important areas in the game right now, actually. So let's head over here. This is the Black Egg Temple. Let's enter in here. Check it out. Temple of the Black Egg, you can see there's a big black egg there, and that is it. In the very start of the game, this is what we saw when that weird bound up creature screamed. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Coral. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom, and this egg is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below. So sweet, we got that. Interesting guy, we'll see him later in the game. And then we'll continue heading on this way. Alright, I believe we can head where we need to go just by heading this way, so let's do that. Corner for hasn't gotten the whole area mapped up, but he's gotten quite a bit of it done. Alright. down here. I do not think we want to head over here quite yet, so I'm going to go down. I don't think we want to head over there either. So let's just head 
this way. Okay, some new enemies here. Or I think we haven't fought these guys yet. Yeah, they're new. Alright, get all the geo you yeah, have. Fat stacks of geo. We need that, though. We definitely need that. Alright, and then... I think this way we can... There's a little mini boss with some easy geo, so... I'm gonna head for that. That way we can go buy mapping supplies. And then get going. There is a boss in this area, like an actual boss, the first boss of the game. I don't know if we're going to make it that far in this first video, though. Probably next video is when we'll fight him. For now, I just want to kind of explore a bit of the area and get enough Geo to buy our mapping supplies. So, anyway. Let's head over here. I think he's in this room. There's another worm. Oh, I didn't see him. Blended in. Okay. I don't think we can quite get that worm yet. That's okay. We'll come back later. We need one of the new moves to get him here. Okay. Sweet. Okay, where are we heading now? I think... We've almost made it all the way back to where we were before, so yeah, we need to head back the other way. Oh no, we can head down from here, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know why I haven't found this little mini boss yet. I definitely want to fight him in this video, though. Alright, sub Cornifer. Alright, head to the right. I think we're along the bottom now. If I remember, yeah, there's some fat stacks of geo up here. We want that for sure. Alright. Oh! I guess I'll grab all this one down here. Alrighty. Something over here? I forget. There's so, so many secrets in this game, I forget where they all are. Like that one right there, I remembered, but. Right. Oh my gosh, a lot of it fell down. Oh, come on! New enemy here. It's an acid spitting bug. Interesting stuff. I love how floaty the jump is in this game, it just feels so nice. It feels so nice. not need to head down there quite yet. Okay, we're about to find our first sauna here. Those will be spread out throughout the game. Well, let's check out what's over here real quick. Some more Geo, and I think it was a skip around that little mini fight there, but I mean, I was fine with doing it. Alright. I do believe this is where we will get our first ability of the game. No, no, this is the sauna. So this refills your heart and soul, and then we got a bench here too. And then I think... What's over here? Nothing. Okay. So let's continue going. Oop, jump. <laughs> Sorry. Rusty. That respawned. I don't care. Oh, there's a mass shard up there. So once we get those later on, they give us more health. As you can see right now, we have five masks. But later on, we'll get some more. It'll be nice and useful. Alright. More of these things. I like their animation style. It's like kind of choppy, but it looks good, you know. All right, down there we have some more Geo. Always want that. Get out of the way of that. Perfect. Let's keep on going. Yeah, this area is like kind of big, but as you guys will see later on in the game, there are some absolutely huge areas that we'll be exploring, and that's why I love this game. Even though, obviously, it's kind of contained because you can't just have an infinite game. It does feel pretty close to infinite. The game is big. Let's just say that, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, if I remember, down here is the entrance to Crystal Peak, which is an area that we are not quite wanting to go to yet. But, I mean, might as well still check it out. Give it a little look. So I cannot make that jump yet. And then, if I remember, if this is the dark room, this is not where we want to be heading yet. Oh, no. We're, we're going in the right direction. Alright. Down here is the entryway to Crystal Peak. Alright. We are not going to go there, though. That is not where we are headed to. And Crystal Peak is an area we'll go to later in the game. Okay, um, I think we want to go down here. 
Because before we go to the boss, I think there's a little village down here that we want to go to to get some items before we keep on going forward. Yeah, I think so. What's over here? Nope, this is not what I was thinking of. That is a gateway to somewhere else. Um, let's see. It's a fast travel even later on. So where is that city then? Why am I not remembering? Or not city, a little town. Because I definitely want to go there. Unlock a couple of things. Oh no, we don't need that yet. Okay, what is this over here? This is... This is... What is it? Okay, easy boss. That's what it is. The grass mother. Alright, here's a mini boss for us. Oh, hit me. And there it is. Done. Super easy. It's funny, the first time I played this game, I died on it. Now, I've actually gotten a lot better, so it's pretty easy and simple to beat. But the boss is not quite over yet. Oh, I love that music, man. Love it. Oh, man, don't die, please. I'm not die. I hate how these little ones don't give you Geo. Like, come on, I worked so hard to beat the big one, and I don't get Geo with the little ones. Anyway, super easy boss there. Up there's an area we can't reach yet. And then this is the little village I was thinking of earlier. Oh, come on. So let's, oh, yeah, I can enter this house. I think this is what the house we're looking for, actually. Yep, here he is. Ugh, Oro, you oaf. You wield your nail like a club. Ask me, how much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? I see this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I ever would have woken. I'm sly. Usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. The air in these ruins doesn't agree with me, so I'd best be getting back. If you return above, come and see me. I'm probably the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. So he has a shop in Dirtmouth, actually. And so once we go up there, we're going to be able to check it out. Um, I think that's it for this village, though. Yeah, that door never opens. So now we can go back up. Get the rest of this area explored. Forget, do we want to go up? Yeah, we do. So now I think this is going to take us to kind of where we were before. Yeah, near the first boss. So that's the tram station over there that we do not have access to yet, so we're going to just go ahead and avoid that for now. We'll go back there later, though, once we get a tram pass. And then... There's more of you, of course. Now we got enough to you to go buy some stuff, so I think we should go to town. In Dirt Mouth. Buy some things. Maybe call an episode there. Look at that tight jump right there. Beautiful. Probably gonna get hit on the way out though. Nope, made it. Alright. And now we're back here. I think this is near the Black Tip Lake. Got behind him there. Oh, come on. Oh, go. Sweet. Yeah, we definitely got enough to you to get some stuff bought. So let's head to Dirt Mouth. Buy some things. And then, yeah, we'll finish exploring this area in the next episode. I just want to get the map and everything going and updated. Why is this? Why do I feel like one of these walls breaks? No, I don't feel like it. I know it. It's this one, isn't it? Yep. There it was. Saved another worm. Alright. Now let's head to Dirt Mouth. Sorry, I know I'm dilly-dallying a lot on the way there, but it's okay because I'm getting Geo and stuff. Alright, there's a shortcut right there. And then we should be able to... Yeah, this is where we were before. So I think if we head up... Oh, no, there's nothing up there. If we head left, we should be on our way to Dirtmouth pretty quickly here. Alright. It's, I know it's a slow start, but trust me, this game gets very interesting as we go on. For now, we're just starting with the basics, getting money kind of grinding a little bit, but once we get all this done, we'll be able to fully explore and enjoy the game. You know, games always start a little bit like this, you know. So, alright. There's that one we couldn't save. 
will save it eventually, though. Do not worry. Um, Alright, we're almost there. And then we can be all done for today. Oh. So let's just head up. Well, oh, no, no, don't get hit. <laughs> Got 460 geos, so we'll be able to get some stuff with that. Alright, heading left. This shop should be open now. This is the map shop, corner for his wife. Let's take a talk to <sighs> her. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what you need. So I want the compass, because it'll allow me to see where I am on the map. And that's also a charm. We can equip charms that give us abilities, so that's good. We'll get a lot more of those. <gasps> and then we want the quill so we can mark where we've been on the map. And I also want to mark benches for now. And then once we get more money, we'll come back. And then... Let's go talk to Sly. He said he wanted to thank us. So let's just go in here. What's up, Sly? Ah, oh, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've been myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning a trip below, I have several items that may improve your chances of survival. So he said he would thank me, but he doesn't really have anything to uh, give to me. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and equip that notch on the bench. Save it up. So... This is how we do it right there. So now, when we look on the map, we can see exactly where we are. So yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you so much for watching and coming back to my channel. I'm sorry again that it has been a while. I've just had a lot of craziness going on in life, but we will be getting back on the grind. So anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I will be uploading more content, unlike how I flaked before. So anyways... Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, night, or whatever it is. Peace.